Hey guys, pretty nice day here in the north today, I tell ya. Plus 22 degrees Celsius hot is today, so she's pretty hot. Summer is here. I'm just hanging out with my father and my brother. We're just out doing a little bit of uh, archery <laughs> target yeah. practice. We all got our bows here. My new one, I bought this bow here last week. I only shot it three times when I bought it in the archery range. It's a diamond archery. Uh, Right now it's strung at 45 pounds, I believe, but I think it goes up to 65 or so. So uh, I'm gonna learn how to shoot that. I'm gonna use it for hunting. I always wanted to get into archery a little bit. My brother does it, my dad does it. Does it. And after watching my cousin stick a bear with his bow uh, last week, I figured I'm gonna buy myself one. But anyways, here my father has a homemade bow that he whittled himself. Which one is this one made out of? This what? is yellow birch. Yellow birch? Yeah. So my father is going to string his bow. He's never shot an arrow. It's either going to blow up or work. <laughs> and it's got no sights, so who knows where the hell it's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> so dad's going to string his bow and try that out as well. So this is going to be fun. This is paracord, by the way. Oh, strung with, oh, your paracord. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. Didn't you rub moose fat on that or something too I to had cure it? Fat on it for a while. Yeah, I tried a little bit of everything. Yeah, interesting. So he's gonna try that one first, and he's also got that one's birch, I think. That's uh, this birch, a tamarack. Oh, this one's tamarack. So they're both uh, beautiful so, bows, huh? So what I did was I went online to see what the original Aboriginal people of this area had to make bows with. And these were my two choices for Saskatoon. <laughs> so this is uh, my winter project when I was bored sitting around the house when it's too cold to go trapping and Andrew was pissed around in Spain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully she don't blow up on you. Ah. Holy shit. How was that? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Let's go have a look. You're aiming at the duct tape, huh? Well, I was aiming at the middle of the board. So that sight has, <laughs> that uh, bow has no sights on it or nothing. So, oh yeah. Oh, frick, she sure flew, huh? It worked. <laughs> oh, frick, I never doubted you. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so now that it worked once, it shouldn't blow up an hour or what? I don't know. I might get half a dozen shots out and it might disintegrate. But... Oh yeah. Interesting. So That's I pretty cool. a little crooked there, eh? So you give me a little whack there. I picked this up when I bought my bow for... Uh, I picked that up for my dad when I bought my bow because he tried... Sh which one did you try shooting? That one there. Oh. <laughs> she laid a bit of a welt on me. And he ended up with a welt on his arm, so... Uh oh Which is the top, which is the bottom? Oh. Okay, we'll hit the black tape this time. Okay. Next time. <laughs> Close. Not bad for no sights. Goes pretty fast. It does, yeah. For a piece of wood that's whittled out of the bush. Yeah. How much pounds do you think that is? That one? I don't know. It's going to be close to 50, I'm guessing. Pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna try my bow here a few shots, I think. I'll give Dad one more here and there and we'll... Right on, I think that was the tape. Did it? Did it? Yeah. I didn't, I... I think that was the tape. I tried zooming in. <laughs> so that's gotta be, I don't know, 20, 20 yards probably. Holy fuck, you hit the tape. <laughs> fuck, ain't that something. That's some pretty good uh, shooting. Dad's been shooting bows since he was a kid, so he knows a little bit about bows and aiming and all that other good stuff. <laughs> Give her one more. Then we'll try the, uh, the tamarack one. Okay. The tamarack one's as good, but it doesn't have as much. I 
That's me aiming. Veered off a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that one was up top a little bit again. Not too bad. <laughs> cool. Yep. So this one here is the tamarack one. It is so. <laughs> I don't think it's as uh, zippy as that last one. But... How is it? Shoots better than the other one. Shoots better? Oh, it doesn't hit me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't see that arrow from here. I think this can kill a bear. You think so? Put a good broadhead on there and. Hmm. Let's go have a look. <laughs> it didn't blow up. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see here. Fuck, I think they stuck in more than the other one. You think so? Oh no, they're about the same. That's in that hard careful. Yeah. Cool. Cool. It works. It did. It didn't blow up. Paracord, paracord survived. <laughs> paracord and a whittle, whittle, a pocket knife and paracord and tamarack. So now you know if you just carry some paracord with you in your little survival bag, you could always whittle yourself a bow. You just got to learn how to make make some arrows now. That's cool. <laughs> Pretty cool, hey Will? Pretty awesome, yeah. <laughs> right on. Have to go out and do some chickens in the fall time with it. And you ever try? Take a piece of hayware and duct tape, I'll make a sight on it. Then oh, yeah. That'll be good for 10 years, 20 years. So that was lots of fun. We were shooting at, I don't know, 15, 15 yards we stepped it out at. Both of Dad's bows never exploded. So that's good. Uh, I got a few shots out of my bow as well, too. I shot her. 30 or 40 times and grouping was all nice. I need a lot more practice so before I'm confident to shoot a uh, bear with it. I'll start small game probably, but that's going to be another video for another day. Okay guys, I'll talk to you another day.